reality of being a YouTuber. And I just exposed myself. Oh well. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Julie and I do a lot of makeup, fashion, lifestyle, and haul videos. So if you like those kinds of videos, please make sure to subscribe. Today we're going to be doing a makeup declutter. I think I'm going to separate it into two videos. So my next video will most likely be the second part. It's going to be probably the same day, everything, just two different parts so that it is, you know, separated and not too long. I'm going to list some of the products that are gently used on my Poshmark so that you guys can purchase them if you'd like. If not, no worries. I know, like, some people don't mind and some people do, so totally up to you, but I'm going to give you that guys that option. I also have some clothes and bags and shoes on there, so if you want to go check that out, I totally recommend it. And this is kind of going to be like an updated makeup route, not routine, makeup collection since you guys are going to see everything in detail. And yeah, let's just get into it. By the way, this is my top. It's so cute. It's a bodysuit, but clearly I'm not wearing it the right way. Um, but it is from Princess Polly. It's from my Princess Polly haul. I can link that down below if you guys want to see it. But I just wanted to give you guys the details just in case someone is curious. So this is what it is. And it runs pretty tight. I got it in a 2. I would prefer a 4, but it still fits. So yeah. Alrighty, so here's my desk. I know this is super dirty, but my brushes go there. That's where I put my camera. This is where I usually put products that I need to test. And then we have all of this. I have my skincare and my to-do list. So I need to film my two declutters and what's in my makeup kit. And this is where I keep all of my makeup. I want to go through maybe like the first four drawers, I'd say. After the four, how many? We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so first four in this video and then the next five in the next video. So in the first drawer, we have foundation, pow one powder, some color correctors, and some random stuff here. So let me see if I could set up a tripod for you guys, I don't know how it's gonna work, but I don't wanna hold this with my hands because I want you guys to like see everything and I wanna like touch and move things at the same time. Figure it out. So we're just gonna have to do it like this. So let's start out with foundations. I have these samples from Rare Beauty. This is actually a concealer. So I'm gonna take this out. Um, this is from Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna put this into my makeup kit. So if you guys wanna see that video, um, it'll be up super soon. All right, so this is a new product from Essence. I absolutely love this and it is so beautiful. It's gonna be literally the staple foundation for the summertime. So I'm just gonna take it out of the packaging and throw that away. I'm gonna keep that. So. The Morphe foundation I love. I'm going to keep that. This Makeup Revolution one is a maybe. I haven't used this one in a while, so and I want to. So I'm going to put it in the keep pile. I'm never going to use this again, I'm sure. I'm going to declutter this. Love this Fenty Beauty skin tint. I like to use this on clients, so I'm going to keep this. This is a million years old. I just need to declutter this. I'm wearing this today actually and it is so amazing so I'm going to keep it. I love this foundation as well. It is so good and as you can tell it's well loved. I haven't used this in a while either because it's a little bit of a light shade but I absolutely love this so I'm going to keep it. I haven't used this one in a while as well but this is so good too. It's from e.l.f. These are the foundations that I usually use on clients. So I'm going to keep these and put them in my kit. Of course, I'm going to keep my Glossier ones for the summertime. And the D-Bronze from... Where is that from? Drunk Elephant. I have some Stellar Beauty samples as well, so I'm going to add that in my kit. I have a bunch of samples here that I should just keep, I feel like. Just if I ever feel like trying something new, and they don't really take up any space. And I have one more Wet n Wild foundation, so pretty much this is what we're keeping. I only decluttered two foundations, but 
Honestly, I really don't have that many. So what I'm going to do, I think, is just move these to the side. I'm going to move these onto my desk because I'm going to add them in my makeup kit. And this one as well. Everything else can go in there. And by the way, I get more foundation shades as I, you know have different clients those aren't just like the only shades that I use but I'm just going to add everything in here now as for these color correctors I'm keeping them they're from LA girl they're so good and I usually just keep them in my kit as well I am not I don't really know I'm not really interested in this product so I think I'm gonna sell it I don't even think I've used it so Go check out my Poshmark for this if you want it. All right, here for primers. I don't have that many, so I'm gonna keep all of them. This is all I have. You could see which ones. And then I just have like some random stuff. I think I'm just gonna keep it there. And then I have a Kat Von D and an e.l.f. powder that can stay there as well. So that is the first drawer. And the second drawer. It looks a little bit different than my previous makeup collection, so. How are we going to do this? Um, let's start out with these. So I have this Tori Bell Cosmetics Makeup Remover. going to keep this in my kit. I don't really need it in my collection. I have some e.l.f. Dewy Setting Spray. A Morphe one back here. Another e.l.f. Soothing one. Tatcha and Milani. Those can all stay. Then I have a bunch of eyebrow stuff that I really don't use. So I'm going to toss this. This is so old and yucky. I really like to keep stuff because sometimes, like, if I don't like it, I can use it on, you know, somebody else, my sister. I don't really know. But, yeah, most of these I'll either use as eyeliner or brow stuff. This is really bad. I don't really like it, so I'm going to toss it. That's pretty much it. Like, the brow stuff, I they're very versatile, like... This thing I would never use on my brow, but I could use it on my eyes as like a liner base. For concealer, we have not too many. Um, I think in the last one I said I wanted to test this one out again because I thought I didn't like it, but I'm not really sure. So I'm going to keep it one more time, test it, and if I don't like it, then I'm going to throw it out the next time. And then I just have some like Tarte samples and I don't really know what brand this is. This is Cover FX and then this one is YSL so that goes in my kit. Back here we have some more powders. We have the AOA Studio one. Don't really use that so I'm going to toss it. Then we have ELF and JCAT Beauty. This is pretty old but I want to finish it so I'm going to keep it in there. And then I have just some primers. This one's pretty much done, the NARS one. It's pretty good, but I'm going to toss it. Everything else in here can stay. All these powders are good. So this is Hourglass Kimchi, Air, two Air Spuns, Makeup Revolution, and Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm just going to take one of these out for my kit. And then we can rotate those products. So let me get these two from the back see if they'll fit in here oh so I'm gonna put this one in there and then keep the J cat in the back this is the end of the second drawer here we go so this is my blush and bronzer drawer I love cheek products so we have this elf one I've used this one time and I need to use it again so I'm gonna keep this I absolutely love this um, bronzer, so I'm going to keep this. It's literally amazing. This Kiko bronzer is so nice. It's a little bit more warm toned, but if I can open this and show you guys, it is so beautiful, and I bought it in New York like two years ago. It's probably expired, but I don't care. I'm going to use it on myself. And then this is literally amazing. Go check out this brand. I absolutely love this bronzer as well. I don't think I'm going to toss any bronzers just because they're all so good. Uh, what is this one? Oh, this is a NARS one. I haven't tested this actually. 
I believe so. Let me try and open this. Yeah, I haven't tested this, so I'm actually going to put that in my bin. I'm going to put my bin right here of things that I need to try. Let me look through these and see. Um, There's nothing in here. Oh, let's look through the foundations. Which one should I try? We have a Smashbox Pure. I haven't tried those two. Okay, those two are good for now. And then... We'll go in here and put the ColourPop one in here to retest again. And then I actually do want to try these eyebrow stencils. Let me know if you guys want to see that over on my TikTok. I don't really know how that's going to turn out, but do I have any more? I do. All right. So I'm going to put those in there to see. I feel like that would be a fun video. Alrighty, so back to the bronzers. This is a Wet n Wild one. This is so good as well, and it's super affordable. I need to try this again, so I'm going to put that in here. The Patrick Ta one I'm wearing today, and it's so amazing. And this Marc Jacobs ones. Marc Jacobs ones. <laughs> I've used, I think, like maybe once, and I think they're going out of business, which is so sad. Oh, it doesn't look like I've touched it, so... I'm going to put that in my basket as well to try over here. It's kind of big. And then this bronzer as well. I don't know if I've even touched it. It's the Essence one. So that's going in here too. I have three bronzers in there to try. And I haven't used these either, but I'm going to just rotate these. This is a Pacifica blush palette. And this one's a bronzer and blush palette. So I forgot to mention, I have this water thing water bronzer this was all right but i didn't really like it too much so i'm gonna toss this i did a review on it on my tiktok and then i just have milk and clinique so i'm going to put back the bronzers i'm not cluttering any of them but i am going to retry some of them so that's good Now we're going into blush, so let's just move this over for now. Alright, so I loved these, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to get too much use out of them. So I'm going to see if I could sell some of the collection over on Poshmark. So, yep. I actually tried this again today, and I loved it as a base. So I'm going to keep this. This blush is so good. I'm going to keep it as well. I don't really see myself decluttering any of these blushes, honestly. They're all so good. Oh, my God. So I'm just going to show you guys what I have, I guess. So Charlotte Tilbury, two Milani blushes, NARS. We have a cream blush from ColourPop and a Rare Beauty underneath. Two Essence blushes. These are so amazing. We have some Tarte underneath here, Milk Makeup. I haven't tried this, I don't think, so I'm going to put that in my testing bucket. We have some Winky Lux, more Tarte. This is Stila, actually, and this is so incredibly old. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, so I think I'm going to toss it. And that's pretty much it for the blush. I don't want to declutter any of this because I really love all of these, and I try and rotate them all the time. And then I'm just going to leave this here, so that is the end for this drawer. Alrighty, onto highlighter and lashes. Lashes I'm gonna keep. So I just have some Tory Bell Pure Iconic. Um, what are these? These are from an Instagram brand, Lush Lash, some individuals, Violet Voss, some from the beauty supply store. This is Anastasia, and these are from, what is that website? It's like the dollar store, but for makeup. AOA Studio. So now we're going to go on to the highlighters. I think I should get rid of some. Like this one is way too light. I don't really think I'm going to like it. So it's brand new. I'm going to see what I could do with this. All right, so I love this Jaclyn one. going to keep it. This LA Girl one is good, but I feel like, actually no, I'm going to keep that. But this Becca one, and they're going out of business, so I don't really know if I should keep it. I think I'm going to try and sell it. 
Benefit, Wet n Wild, LA Colors, what's underneath here, Jouet, uh, Morphe, I don't really know, okay, this one is Catrice, have I tried this one yet? No, so I'm going to put that in my to try, I'm not really looking like I want to declutter, okay, this one's too dark for me, but it's very pretty, so I'm going to see if I could sell this. And then I have some Jeffrey, Maybelline, Elf. This is discontinued, but I'm going to keep it. Tarte, Juvia's Place, Charlotte Tilbury, Kimchi. All right, so this is saying as well, okay, this is not looking too hot. So, well, I mean, I did a nice declutter, and I haven't bought, like, way too much since. So, Alrighty, guys, thank you guys so much for watching part one to this video. I decided just to split it up. But if you guys want to see what's in my every single day drawer, a sneak peek. But I do have a Shop My Stash up already so you could see those products. But the next video, I'm going to be decluttering eyeliners, eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes, face palettes, and lips. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!